Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfheim. I'd like to go. There are still signs of the World Serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. I can only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found a trace for New Year. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. Hi, Prado. <coughs> Would have been a shame to have left that behind. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock and Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yomi even remembers after all this time, who he once was. You! Come with the tribe! Strange to do. Soon enough, Master... Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non-sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very root, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. Batatoskar, I'm curious. You said the tree had plans for you. What exactly has it got you doing? What do I not do, my decapitated delight? I overlook and maintain the stability of the realms, ensure that everything is running smoothly. And, of course, I tend to the world tree. I listen to it. Make sure its needs are met. Do you talk to the tree? The tree does not speak in any tongue, but its intentions are clearly felt. Yes, I do realize how, for lack of a better word, kooky that sounds, but it is true. Is it saying anything right now? It's saying stop asking stupid questions. Bitterness, manners. But yes, it is saying something along those lines. I mustn't keep you further from your goings-on. Yes, we'll be moving along to other things now, you hobby thing bat.
profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once, he taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. The little shop I'm running out in the Alpine Desert, there's something y'all are probably gonna want to see.
is wrong. I should have changed. Sewn some morning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin. Thank you. 